Hi, it's Emily Leapart from Art from the Heart, and in this video I'll be making a Mama Elephant card featuring the Four Seasons stamp set. This stamp set is geared towards scrapbooking and Project Life albums, but I wanted to come up with another way to use it on cards. Specifically, I wanted to use these before and after labels. I thought it would be fun to combine them on a card with the summer and winter badges, as well as a small arrow and maybe the flip-flops. In my mind, I'd like to make a multi-paneled comic book style card with Santa from the Cozy Christmas stamp set. I could feature him in the summertime with a tropical drink with the top of the tree as an umbrella. I've cut a card base that is three and a quarter inches by six and a half inches. It's one of my favorite card sizes, and it splits perfectly into two three by three inch square panels. First I'm going to create a mask of Santa so I can sponge around him without affecting his coloring. I want to keep this card as flat as possible for ease mailing, which is why I need to mask him instead of fussy cutting him and layering him on top. After the mask has been prepared, I lay out the stamps the way I'll be stamping them on the panels. I do this to gauge the spacing and get a visual on the aesthetics of the design. Once I determine it's all good, I can stamp the Santas on each panel. For the summer Santa, Santa would look too hot with a hat since I plan on putting him on a beach scene, so I need to stamp him without a hat. I cut the hat off the mask, lay both pieces together on the card so I know exactly where the hat needs to stay, remove the body mask and stamp Santa just to get an image of him without his hat. Now I'll stamp out the smaller pieces that I'll be layering on top of Santa. These include the spare mittens and drinks. Then I can color everything with Copic markers. I mentioned in a previous video that I always start with the skin on people images. And I really do, but in this case I already had the grays in my hand from shading the mittens and drinks, so I transferred those over to the white areas on the two Santas. I do move immediately to the faces afterwards, and I give Summer Santa more of a tan than Winter Santa. After coloring the Winter Santa, I decide to use slightly lighter shades of red and grey on Summer Santa. I know that Winter Santa will be drinking hot cocoa, but I can't decide on the drink color for Summer Santa, so I decide to do some fussy cutting while I think about it. I don't have any green on this card yet and I like the idea of a refreshing minty drink so I decide to use that on the umbrella. It will provide the pop of color against Summer Santa. Eventually I decide that the entire glass or drink needs to be the same color. I had mentioned using the curvy little arrow and I'm going to use it as a straw or stick connecting the umbrella to the drink. First I stamp it on the drink then I stamp it again directly on Santa to provide that continuation once the drink is adhered to him. Before adhering to drinks, I decide that it's better to do the sponging for the sand and snow. I apply the mask I'd created earlier and sponge away with antique linen and frayed burlap distress inks. For winter Santa snow, I use evergreen bough and peacock feathers to coordinate with the tropical drink on summer Santa's side. I was going to forego sponging skies, but after a second look, I decided I needed to add some color to the tops of the panels. After applying the hat mask, I go with weathered wood and stormy sky for the wintry side. On the summary side, I use tumbled glass and broken china. After cleaning off my craft mat, I pull out my VersaFine Onyx backing to stamp the solid labels and badges directly onto the sponged areas of each panel. Then I use glue dots to adhere the drinks and mittens. I 
I thought some polyfill would be perfect as summer Santa's hair. After all, it wouldn't be too uncommon to have humidity frizz in the tropics, right? Now I can adhere the finished panels to the card base. I thought the card was missing that little something, so I die cut three tiny gold hearts using the embellished Chad Creative Cuts. I'll adhere two on the winter side and one on the summer side to create a visual triangle of hearts. It's just another way of making the two panels more cohesive. So now my ridiculously silly card is done, and I will be sending it to someone for Christmas even though it's not a traditional holiday card. All of the supplies I used to make this card are listed below. Thanks so much for watching.